Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we are going to be reviewing the whole city game as I took on Coventry City. <laughs> Welcome back to another video guys and you know Hull City played a commentary at the MKM Stadium and it finished in the Air 4 Championship game. Hull City nil, Coventry City won and yes Hull City lose once again. Um, and yeah for the first half you know Coventry did, so they got like a couple of passes together in my opinion and they always like they're going to score going forward because look miles better than us. Um, they do look a very good team, and you can see why they're in top six. Um, but saying that, our defence was not that great again. Um, obviously, you know, you could have had a second if Smallwood, um, I think, went to capacity to England, but he did a bit short, and then play was running in. And luckily, managed to get away just in time. So, um, yeah. You know, um, there was. Credit to the commentary supporters as well for coming. Um, there was a lot, there's a lot of you. So, and then this gave gave us some atmosphere. Obviously, you know, with all tending to be quite ground. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, I think Richard Smallwood. I thought I touched on this. I think he was very poor. Um, you know. Hull City terms of going forward, I think the only one made a green fruit was King Lewis Potter. Um which is a shame because I think everyone needs to be doing it. Um Yeah, um, so it's another loss for us. It's three wins in thirty five championship matches for Grant McCann. Um but you know the quicker this takeover gets done, if it's going to happen, then hopefully it does happen before Christmas. And then obviously to probably come in and sack McCann and bring in somebody else, as I always said. Um, but yeah, we move on to Wednesday night, I um, think, against West Brom. Um, yeah, don't see anything, don't see us getting anything from there. Um, but that's enough of me waffling on. I'm going to he head you hand you over to the Coventry City fan that we've got on. It's another one um, which is recommended by the Sky Blues fan TV. Uh, so take it away. Hi, my name's Neil uh, from Atlas All Areas Podcast. Um, just giving my review of the Coventry vs Hall game today. Um, very scrappy game. Um, you can, I think if you're a neutral watching that game today, you think it was a relegation dogfight? Um, we didn't, we didn't do too much at all. Um, thought we were really poor. Um, but that being said, with all due respect to Hull, you can see why they're down there. Um, fair play to the fans, you know, they, they, they got behind their side, but they didn't really offer anything. Tommy was really off it, and I was worried about him today. Uh, he always scored against us for Gillingham, and this season we struggled against big guys. Um, but we started brightly, got the early goal from Matty Goddard. Um, great work down the left hand side. Um, I think the keeper probably should have done better, he got a hand to it. But and then from from there, I think we could have had three goals in the first half. Um, half time comes and typical commentary game of two halves. We um, we were a different side of the second half. Hawk about very well. Um, really impressed with Cannon number 14, I think it was. Had some lovely little touches in the middle of the park. A very good player, and obviously, um, your you, you Potter, um, number 11, again, some, some lovely touches. Um, I was really worried when we changed the formation, took Matt Godden off, um, and went one up top. Um, we just kind of invited pressure on at that point, um, and we were holding on for the last 20 minutes easily. Um, I don't think it would have been unfair on Hall to get a point out of that, based on the second half. Um, hearing the Hall fan singing about McCann losing his job, 
if that's what you're watching this season, I can understand why you'd want that as well. Um, all in all, not the best game of football, but happy that we took the three points and got that burden off our back. Wish all, all the best for the season. Um, all the fans we spoke to today were wicked. Um, shout out to Pearson's Bar where we, uh, we we had a drink beforehand. Staff were wicked. People in there that we spoke to were lovely. Um, and you can tell you really care about your football club, so uh, fingers crossed you get the, the, the results that you want coming up soon. Um, and anyone that wants to drop me a follow, I'm on Twitter at the Twitter 88 um, and follow my podcast, Access All Areas, at one Access All Areas on Twitter. We do all sorts of uh, EFR related content. Man of the match for me today was Jake Clark Salter, um, centre half, which I think speaks volumes about the game. Uh, if not, uh, Matt Godden, uh, goal scorer. Um, again, scrappy game, but all the best. Yep, so um, thank you, Neil, for coming on from the Access All Areas podcast. Um, I'm very do appreciate it. Um, you know, it was quite hard to find a conscious fan and that would want to come on who's been to the game. Um, so, yeah, thank you to him and thank you for the commentary fan that came on in my preview video. Um, sorry, I can't remember your name, but I shall it come to me. Is it Glenn? Something like that. But, yeah, thank you for everyone who came on for the preview and the review video. And, yeah. Um, yeah, just before we finish this review video, I just want to let you know something that happened at the game yesterday. And, um... Yeah, you probably see by the footage I'll put in. Um, so I'll put the footage in So yeah, as you can see, a steward or well, a supervisor took away a Turkish flag from a Hull City fan. Um, we saw quite a few at the game yesterday, obviously with the Turkish takeover going on in the background. It's understandable why fans would bring in Turkish flags because, you know, obviously the fans and the owners' relationship isn't that good at the minute, so hope, we're hoping this gets done as soon as possible. And, um, yeah. They was told from the um, supervisors that they've been told by the hierarchy to take it, so probably the LMs, um, probably seeing it because I think they was at the game yesterday, so they probably told them to take it down, and um, but yeah, I think the Hull City fan take it, took it off, was half Turkish too, so you know if he's half Turkish and let him have Turkish flag. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Please smash the like button. Very much appreciated. And I'll probably see you for a preview video for the West Brom game during midweek. See you later, guys. Peace.